up? It is Ethan Carino here from Centaur Grooming Products and today we're going to be doing our special, special first video in the series of Fashion Face Off. So we're going to be taking two fashion trends, two hairstyles, two product trends, two makeup trends, and we're going to be comparing them side by side and showing you the information about one of them and then the info about the other one and then we'll let you decide which one you like, which one you don't like, or if you like both of them. So today we're going to be talking about the color of blue versus the color of red, how to wear them, when not to wear them, and ultimately what looks better given the situation. So let's begin. So first we're going to talk about the color blue. Of course you can see I'm wearing a navy blue shirt and it's got some white and red and black on the sleeves but it's like 90%, 85% navy blue. Uh, and let's talk about the color blue. So the color blue is perceived by the mind as a color worthy of trust, a color that's very professional, that's sophisticated, and is associated with calm. When you see uh, a company using the color blue for their product, or when you see a guy or a girl, doesn't matter who, wearing the color blue, that person is going to be trusted more. That person is going to give kind of a sense of, hey, I'm calm, I'm professional, uh, you can trust me with this, I know what I'm talking about, and I'm also well respected. If you go into a job interview, let's say you, get, you want to get your first job at you know XYZ company, whatever, right? And you're you know you're a teen, and you don't know a lot. You don't know a lot about fashion. You know a little bit, but um, you don't know a lot. And you go in there, and you know you wear a blue dress, or you wear a black suit with a blue tie, or maybe or, or you know a sweater vest with a blue tie. Uh, you're gonna look very very good. You're gonna look professional because blue is associated with being professional. You're going to go in there. You're gonna be a lot more reserved. So it's going to be again adding to professional status because wearing a flare color like red that I'll explain a little later is going to be more outgoing. You're a little more reserved, a little more calm, a little more collected with the color blue, which is gonna be very big brownie points for your professional status. Also, they're gonna trust you more. It's as simple as that. You know, you, when you see the color blue, the brain associates it with things like water and the sky, peace, calm, and the person who sees the color blue, especially if they see it on a young girl or a young guy who looks really good in it, they're going to be like, wow, okay, I can, this person looks like they mean business, and I can probably trust this person over the everyday person who wears a more flamboyant t-shirt or something that doesn't have a good message on it that's all in a bunch of different colors. Know what I mean? So that is the basic, the general and basic rundown of the color blue. Now, when, where should you wear this? Well, obviously to an interview. If you're going to talk to your boyfriend or your girlfriend's parents, or you have this really good friend you met from school, but you haven't met his or her parents before, uh, and you want to make a good first impression, and you want them to like you, obviously, so you want to wear the color blue then. You can also wear the color blue really any time out. That's what I love about the color blue, is that you can go out to you know a dinner with the guys, or dinner with the girls, or dinner with your family, and you can wear this color, like a navy blue color, or even a more, maybe a lighter shade of blue, and it's still gonna look great. And you can go to a big corporate event, you know, you got a business meeting with so-and-so or so-and-so, you can still wear blue. You can wear a blue tie, you can wear a blue suit, you can wear a blue suit and a blue tie, but I'd suggest you spice it up with a little bit of other colors in there, and it's gonna look great. So you can dress it up, dress it down. Uh, where I would not recommend this, so again, you know, business interviews, uh, good impression, first time impression, good meetings. Uh, I would not recommend this though, maybe at parties uh, or at really, um, or at an event where you wanna draw a lot of attention to yourself and kind of separate yourself from the crowd and be a little more quote unquote unique. That is when this perfect, perfect segue, perfect segue, bear with me here. That is when the color red comes in. Now, obviously, you can see this is just a simple red polo shirt, but you know you can clearly see a difference between what I'm wearing with this and then this red polo shirt. Now, I'm gonna have to set that back there. Uh, let's, now, let's talk about the color red. So, the color red is definitely more outgoing. Uh, it's more, I don't wanna say flamboyant, but it's definitely more vivid. It's a lot more noticeable, too. So, you're gonna be seen a lot easier with the color red, whether that's a good thing, whether it's a bad thing, whether you just don't care, you're gonna be easily noticed with the color red. Uh, also, people are gonna think differently of you as well compared to if you wear the color blue. They're gonna think you're a little more outgoing, you're a little more accepting and welcoming, which isn't always a bad thing, uh, that you are a little more kind of um, 
free thinking, creative, free flowing. Also that you're passionate. Red is the color of passion, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know and girls know. Uh, but when you wear the color red, you're going to be associated with things like passion, like creativity, uh, like kind of an artistic, you know, if you will, like it'd be an artistic mindset. And, you know, then, then not, not all the time, but you're going to be associated with those types of things. Also, if you're very emotionally stable or if you're very, um, uh, I'm trying to think, maybe more emotionally upbeat and you're really always positive, you're always, you know, the glass is half full, always optimistic. Red is a great color to exemplify your true passion or your true emotional status and to show that, you know, you're not afraid to be who you are and that you are okay with being unique, which is a good thing to do. But at the same time, we also want to make sure we tone it down so it's not too much. So I would recommend personally what to pair with red and when to wear it. I'd recommend that you pair it with black. So maybe, um, uh, I don't know, like black pants or black jeans and then a red top or a red shirt or maybe a black dress and then a red shirt or something along the lines of that, you know. Or maybe even just a black, more black, darker outfit than a red hat or red shoes or a red bag. That looks nice. Also, um, maybe... Uh, that's a red tie. That's a huge one. Red bow tie, red pocket square, a red tie. I've seen some guys wearing a red belt, which looks great if you can pull it off. So those are some nice ways that you can incorporate the color of red into a predominantly conservative or reserved or more bland class, you know, slash neutral outfit. Now, when do you want to wear the color red? Well, the parties, to uh, artistic events. Also, two events, like I said earlier, that you want to draw attention to yourself. Let's say that you and 50 other people are going to a networking event, and you want to stand out because you're the CFO, or you're the like team mastermind behind this great company, or you're working with you know XYZ charity, you're working with this um, this group, or you know whatever the whatever the case might be. You definitely want to wear red because that's going to help you stand out. If you wear red you're going to be, like I said, more easily noticed. It's just, you know, it's basic vision. Which looks more noticeable to you? This or this? Well, obviously this does, you know? So if you want to be more easily noticed and you want to be seen as more of a creative person, definitely wear red. And again, wear it to somewhere that you want to be noticed at. If you don't want to be noticed or if you're having kind of a, you know, rough day, didn't go so well, then maybe don't wear red, you know, because people will expect you to be emotionally upbeat, to, you know, be positive, be creative. And if you're not feeling like that, then you don't really want to wear something that suggests otherwise. Uh, just like I said with blue, for example, you know, wear this to some place that you want to command respect, that you want to go in there and say, I'm the girl here, I'm the guy here, I'm the person who knows what they're talking about, I've done XYZ, I'm really good at XYZ. I want you to hire me. I want you to like me. I want you to take me seriously as, you know, a teen or as a young adult or as a 20, 30 year old, whatever the case might be. That is what you want to wear. It's as simple as that. So like I said, to conclude, that is blue versus red. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, any suggestions, constructive criticism, comments, likes, whatever the case might be. Also let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you got any more tips too on where to wear this and stuff like that, you know, there are plenty of other places to wear it. And you can wear red and blue, you know, it, it doesn't matter. So, like I said, uh, leave a note or leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure that you click the subscribe button and make sure that you give this video a big old thumbs up. And thank you for watching, and we will have more videos out. And I'll see you later.